food nerds! So today we're going to be making prosciutto asparagus filo rolls. That's a mouthful. That's really hard to say. So here's what you need. <laughs> So before you do anything, preheat your oven to 400. And it's minus preheating over there. And then we can start. Put everything aside, and we're gonna start working on our filo dough. Also, you can get like smaller asparagus, but since we're gonna use it like an appetizer, I got the gigantic asparagus. We are lining out our doughs one by one and putting olive oil on them. Don't get flustered because you have to work kind of fast, but also you have to be gentle at the same time. I'm doing it by piece by piece, and then we're gonna cut it. Perfect. Well, it would be better if I actually had a brush, but I don't, so I have a paper towel. You know what I wish I could do is that I have a wish. I have a, a wish. I do have a wish. I wish I had a tub of olive oil and just like dunk him in there, like film, photograph. Four little squares. Now, of course, you could always make more if you want to. I'm only gonna use. I'm only gonna make a little bit, just for the video's purpose. Wrap this thing, nice and slow. Remember that egg that we had? Now it's the perfect time for it. Right. Nice little whisk. Grab it and just seal it. Make sure the edges are sealed so that they don't fray when you actually bake them. Seal, seal, seal. Seal pat and our baking sheet. And I'm just gonna line them up there. Now we wait. You bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we wrap it in prosciutto, and then we're gonna serve it. So I'll see you then. So now we're gonna let them cool, and then like for like five minutes, and after that we're gonna wrap it with prosciutto. So stay tuned. Now we're gonna wrap it in prosciutto. Cause you know, it's not delicious until there's prosciutto in it. Nice meaty layer, then the crunchy. It's gonna be awesome. If you have a thinner slice one that you could find, use that one. Nice little pecorino. That's the stuff. It's crunchy. And the prosciutto gives it a nice little saltiness. And the asparagus is actually nice and tender inside. So the textures are really fun. And of course, the pecorino just gives it a nice little flavor. You should go try it because it's, it's pretty darn good. Mm. Hey, food nerds! So, hope you like the recipe. Let me know in the comments below how you like it or what do you do differently to it. I also would like to say thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support. You guys are amazing. Um, of course, this video wouldn't be possible if, if it wasn't for you. So this video is brought to you by you. And to all the new patrons, welcome. Thank you for sharing the love. And I will see you next week with another recipe. And as per usual, happy nomming.